Uh, the First Amendment is only 45 words long. It's kind of generic. And as we know, all the other rights that we have are very specified. And I understand that 30 states now have a shield law. Why, Jeff, don't we have one in Hawaii? Well, there's a lot of reasons for it, and, and it goes back decades. Um, the real push to give journalists statutory privileges from not having to reveal information began right after Watergate. Now, prior to that time, there really wasn't a lot of discussion and debate about whether journalists should or should not be forced to reveal sources. But after Watergate, there was a tremendous push to give journalists privileges so they would not be compelled to reveal what they considered to be confidential information. And in Hawaii, uh, there was discussion about a shield law. Without getting too political, if people remember the political climate back in the late 70s and in the early 80s, we had a mayor who was very anti-newspaper. We had some members of the state legislature, including uh, one of my esteemed friends now, Representative Abercrombie, who was really anti-media. And there were a number of bills that were introduced. Henry Peters introduced a number yeah. of bills that would have done some unbelievably unconstitutional things to the media if they had passed. None of it did. For example, the legislature introduced a bill to force journalists and editorial writers to reveal their finances. So a decision was made by the powers that be in the journalistic community at the time, look, we'd love a shield law, but we don't want to go to the legislature and ask for a privilege. At the same time, we're telling them to keep their hands off of us on everything else. We don't want to be a public utility, which was a big argument at the time. So a political and strategic decision was made that we're not going to go to the legislature and ask for a shield law. At the same time, we're up there telling them not to pass all these other bills. And then, frankly, two decades went by. We have not had a lot of controversial litigation on, on journalists being forced to testify. It comes up pretty often, but it's usually resolved by negotiations. I've had a hundred negotiations with lawyers, prosecutors, public defenders, where they've wanted to get information that wasn't published, whether it's video that doesn't appear on television, photographs of an accident scene that's not published in the newspaper. But we really haven't had major confrontations, although we have had one reporter, Matt Levi, who actually went to jail when he refused to reveal information. But around the country, the case law was developing that was providing qualified privileges to journalists, even though in Hawaii we have a 1962 case still on the books, in Reed Goodfather, which says there's absolutely no journalistic privilege in Hawaii. Well, circuit courts, absolutely none. none of any kind. It's the most strict anti-journalist privilege um, decision in the country. But it's been eroded throughout the country by case law and by states that have passed shield law. So now, in 2007, as the courts have begun to change their view that there's no constitutional shield provided to uh, journalists, that the First Amendment by itself doesn't provide a privilege. States and, in fact, Congress have been debating whether they would statutorily institute a privilege like they have for lawyers, for doctors, and for clergy. 